name is Sediac and welcome back to another episode of Project Flight here in Roblox. So today, I'm going to be checking out some of the disasters in this game. And I'm going to kind of create a disaster and I must try and survive it and land the plane so no one goes oof. Yeah, boy! Is becoming the world's best pilot. If you do enjoy more <laughs> Project Fly and want to see more, smash that like button down below. And if you are new around here, make sure that you do subscribe so you get notified when more episodes do come out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into Fly now, free flight, and I'm going to pick the Boeing 737. Keep it nice and simple. This should be pretty interesting. So we'll come farm this. Now we could go for a bunch of different liveries. Shall we go Ryanair? Yeah, boys. Of course you gotta go Ryanair, right? Of course you gotta go Ryanair. And we'll spawn at London Gatwick. And we'll pick our gate. Let's go for 204. Something a little bit different this time. Something a little bit different. Confirm this puppy. Now in this game, there's a couple of disasters. Some people actually don't know you can actually have disasters in this game. Uh, and basically what you do is you go into your options and then click on over here to disasters and you can pretty much have fail flaps, fail gear, fail speed brakes and fail engines as well. Now I want to play around with the fail gear. I'm pretty much going to give myself a failed landing gear, which means I won't be able to land with my wheels. I'm going to have to try and slide this puppy to a full stop. I don't know how that's going to work. It's going to be interesting, but we'll give it a good, good go. So, we're going to turn on the engines right now, and we're going to fly. So, I'm not actually sure where we're going to fly to. We might fly to... I mean, we flew to Menorca last time we played this. I might go back to Gran Canaria. It should be pretty good. And uh, we're we'll going to begin our pushback at the same time and make our way... Uh, to the um, the runway. We're going to taxi to the runway and see what we can kind of get done. So one engine is full spinning. The other one's at 40% right now. So once they get up to 100, we are pretty much good to go. So let's start turning the plane. Now I've got to remember how to fly the plane. But more importantly, I'm going to make sure that we can land a plane with no landing gear. So turn this right round. Turn it right round, boys. There's a dude there in like a red arrows plane driving straight into the terminal. I'm not sure what that Swiss Air is doing as well. I think they're all having a little bit of a problem, aren't they? Right, and let's now increase the speed. First, let's uh, bring up the throttle to reduce the pushback speed. And now we are taking taxi to the runway. So what we'll do, we'll fly off into the air and we'll get ourselves positioned ready uh, to land at somewhere like Gran Canaria. And then as we're beginning our approach, we'll then kind of trigger the fail gear emergency where we went, then pretty much won't be able to open the landing gear. And it's going to be very interesting. It's going to be very, very interesting, boys. So we're now taxi to the runway right now. I'm going to apply the brakes a little bit and we're going to turn in. Easy, boys. Easy right now. And we're pretty much all lined up, ready to go. So, Ryanair, 737. I'm about to say 747 then for a second. Is now ready for takeoff, baby. We're now ready for takeoff. So try and get it lined up a little bit better. There we go. We're now moving. Can we see the ATC tower? Yeah, we can just about see it in the distance. It's just there where the mouse is right now. Guys, if I let me know if you want to see a video of me actually being in the ATC tower right now and controlling flights. It could be really interesting. So, we're going to get a little bit more speed and we're going to then uh, apply our nose into the sky. Easy, boys. Easy. Nose into the sky, please. How much more speed do we need to get our nose into the sky? Oh, hang on. My flaps. Wait, there, hold on. There are two. Wait, is this plane going to take off? Oh my goodness me, it literally used the whole runway. Um, land up, right, flaps are now up, boys. It literally used the whole runway right there, and I was slightly worried that we were not going to be able to take off. Oof! So, the landing gear has now gone away. The landing gear has now uh, disappeared, Ode, and we're now flying towards Gran Canaria. Now, we'll bring our uh, airspeed slightly down, we'll try and bring the frog down at least kind of control it but we're gonna fly to Grand Canaria and we're gonna have a big emergency 
the landing gear is not going to work. How are we going to land the plane? I'll be honest with you right now. We need to reduce the airspeed as much as possible to be able to land. It's going to be very interesting. I feel like I might be slightly scared about this one. I might be slightly scared. So I reckon what we should do then is we'll take a look at the, uh, the emergency. So if I fail gear now, it says repair landing gear. So does that mean I can no longer open it up? Yeah, I pressed to open up the landing gear and it will not open. We truly have got a failed landing gear right now. Right, reducing the speed, or the throttle at least, and hopefully the air speed will shortly follow. But, oh my goodness me, boys. Have you ever tried to land with a failed landing gear? Oh, your boy is about to do just that. Um, this is definitely going to go very, very, very bad. Now, how far have we got to go to get to Gran Canaria right now? It's actually not too far. Menorca is slightly closer. But we should be able to start seeing the island very soon. We should be able to start seeing the island very soon. Which is why we need to dramatically reduce not only our altitude, but also our airspeed. Because this, I feel, is going to be a bad one. Now, we're going to try and reduce our air, uh, altitude, sorry. It might slightly increase our airspeed by reducing our altitude. Because we are slightly going down. Down, down to the ground slightly. So, with the weight of the plane, it might... You know, physics boys, speed up. But I still can't see the runway just yet, or, or the actual airport it, itself. But we should be within viewing range. Oh wait, hold on. Is it? I, I'm either seeing things, or we might be breaking through at the clouds directly in front of us. Well, I'm still gaining altitude. I need to kind of slightly come down right there. I think we slightly do see it. Actually, it's more of it this way, isn't it? No, no, we're actually lined up for it. So where's the runway? That's the big question. Where's the run Oh, there's a plane. There's a plane right in front of us right now, boys. Right, we're doing pretty good. The Ryanair is looking more juicy than ever. There is a plane slightly above us right now. Is it flying our way? You can just see it in the sky, right? Yeah, it's flying almost towards us. Oh, no, no. I think it's flying with... Wait, hold on. I can't quite figure out if it's coming towards us or going away from us. It's a weird one. It is a weird one. Aha! There's Grand Canaria! Right, there we go. So we're going to start turning. And, um, yeah. Now, I want you all to give me a prediction in the comment section. Wait, that plane's kind of slightly frozen midair. I want you all to give me a prediction right now. Do you think your boy will be able to land with no landing gear? I don't know how this is going to go down. And I'm slightly scared. I am slightly scared. So, as the airspeed is reducing beautifully right now, I feel like we've got this all slightly under control. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that plane lining up right now to land? Am I in the wrong position for the runway? I think I might be. I need to reduce my altitude. And I think we're going to be okay. I don't know if we're going to be okay. I honestly, I do not know. I do not know right now. So, altitude is coming down quite beautifully. We're at nearly uh, around about the 2,000 feet. Uh, airspeed is 240 right now, which is, again, slowly coming down. Uh, we are reducing beautifully right now. And we are slowly approaching. This, this is going to be dangerous. So, have your prediction in the comment section right now. Let me know. Will I land? Or won't I land? And by land, what I mean is actually land on the runway and not oof myself as bad. Right, we're going to slightly get over to this dude's kind of area. Reduce the altitude a bit more. Wait, hold on. Where's the runway? Well, I think I was online to go to the runway anyway. My, my only problem is with reducing the altitude as much um, and the speed dropping, I'm losing. I don't think I'm able to gain much altitude. Also, there's, there's, is, this, is that an Air Canada plane? Oh, I think we're going to land together. Now, unfortunately, dude, uh, I have no landing gear, so I kind of need to, I don't know, land. Um, <laughs> but I think I see the runway. I think we're going to be okay, boys. I think we're going to be okay. I'm down to 190 on the airspeed. I'm down to 190, boys. 
Now, the brakes are not going to work because I have no landing gear. The brakes are not going to work. I'm going to reduce the throttle ever so much again. And then try and bring down the altitude because we are now coming into land. Now, we're down to 170 on the airspeed. I'm trying my hardest right now to do this correctly. Oh, is there two runways? Okay, I'm going to take the left runway and hopefully that dude takes the right. Oh, double synchronized landings, boys. Synchronized landings. Right, 600 feet. The airspeed is now down to 160. Right, this could be the best emergency landed. Uh, uh, this is your captain speaking. Uh, we are um, going to... Uh, brace for impact. Brace for impact. Right, really reducing the airspeed right now. To the point where I've got zero throttle. 400 altitude. 300. 300. 300. Now we're going to the 200s, and this is going to end bad. Right, here we go. Try and smooth this in. Oh, it's a hard landing, boys, but I've managed to do it with no landing gear. I can try and push back. The brakes are not going to work, and we are now just sliding, sliding. We are sliding, sliding. We've buttered the landing again. But this is going to end bad. Oh, no. We might need to take to the dirt. The airspeed will still not slow down. I'm applying brakes which don't even exist at this point. And I think the wing is now going to take the end. Oosh! That was not good. Can I turn the engine off? I've turned the engine off in all hopes of it actually stopping. But it doesn't want to stop. It honestly doesn't want to... Oh, and now I've died. <laughs> um, but let's be honest with you, with you guys, okay? Let's be honest right now. That was butter. Almost. I mean, it did say it was a kind of a hard landing. But I managed to land smooth. It's just it, the plane did not want to stop. So what are you meant to do in those situations where the plane doesn't want to stop right now? What are you meant to do? I have no idea. No idea. I'm going to spawn the right airplane back in right now. Because that was absolutely beautiful. And um, treat the passengers to an actual, an actual flight. Oh my goodness me. Guys, let me know in the comment section right now. What would you do in that situation? Would you do exactly what I did? Because you can't stop. That's the problem. Would you have maybe come in a lot slower? But even when I landed and got the speed down to about 40, it just didn't want to stop. I'm going from about 40. So, I don't quite know what to do in that situation. That was a complete new one for me altogether as well. Right, is the throw... That's the wrong one. Right, is he going to push back? There we go. The plane is now pushing back. The plane is now pushing back. So, I'm not sure. If you guys got any ideas of what you would do, let me know in the comment section down below. But I think what we'll do, guys, we'll end it for here right now. If you want to see more Project Flight, let me know by smashing that like button down below. If you are new around here, make sure you do subscribe. But until next time, I will see you all soon. So, goodbye.